good evening, a mood of jubilation has swept South Korea, following the surprise announcement by the ruling party that direct presidential elections should be held. In the capital, Seoul, people jumped for joy and snatched up copies of special edition newspapers while the opposition praised the ruling party. The stock market reacted by recording its biggest single-day increase. The chairman of the ruling Democratic Justice Party, Ro tae Woo, today released an eight-point plan aimed at ending South Korea's political crisis. Mr. Ro, a former general, has been nominated by the party to succeed his former military colleague, President Chun, in February next year. But today, Mr. Ro said he would withdraw his candidacy for the presidency, as well as resign from the ruling party if the peace plan were rejected. The main point concerns direct presidential elections under a new constitution. But Mr. Rowe also agreed that there should be more democracy and all political prisoners should be released. He also said that top opposition leader Kim Dae-jung should be granted an amnesty, which would allow Mr. Kim to stand in the proposed direct presidential elections, which could be held as early as December. Noteo's announcement was uh, very impressive. I welcome it. Does it mean democracy for South Korea, full democracy? I think, uh, uh, you know, I see uh, a good prospect of, uh, you know, democratization in this country, uh, you know, uh, with, uh, you know, this uh, development. Will you be a candidate for president? Uh, my, you know, uh, major concern, first concern is to see the democratization. I have no idea to stand for presidency. Another leading opposition leader, Kim Young-sam, also welcomed the dramatic turn of events, which followed some of the worst political disturbances in South Korean history. Sri Lanka wants Indian relief supplies in northern Javna Peninsula stopped at the third shipment. India is insisting that the supplies to the Tamil stronghold will continue. The two Indian ships that brought the 800 tons of essential supplies to the Jaffna Peninsula port of Kankasantarai are still being unloaded. Medical supplies were the first items to be distributed, and now grain and cooking oils are about to be dispatched to 400 Tamil centres across the country. The army is keeping a check on the activities at the port as the work continues. <laughs> 